All right, here are Canada basketball legends, the former head coach and player Leo Routens, the former player Javon Shepard. Guys, after two plus decades, Canada has officially qualified for the 2024 Paris Olympics. You guys have represented Canada on the international stage. Leo, where does this win rank in Canadian basketball history? Personally, I think this is the greatest victory in Canadian history simply because the time. All right, this is the NBA. This is the Canada's golden era. This is when everybody's watching. There were great victories and great moments in Canadian basketball history, but people never saw them. They weren't really aware of them. Everybody sees this right now. And when you look at the amount of NBA players, the amount of talent coming out of Canada, this is a great moment because it's saying we have arrived. And Leo, I would have to agree with you because I remember having a conversation with Shea Gilgis Alexander a couple summers ago at Summer League. And this is at the point where we're trying to get guys to play. We're begging some of our elite players to play on the national team. And he didn't have a clue at the time what some of these tournaments were. It was just trying to get an understanding of why he should play. And now you not only have Shea leading the way, but a number of these other guys, you have to be turning away NBA guys. And now you're having success. You're winning with them. And if you look at the construction of this roster, you also have guys that played at the age group level. So now we're building culture. Now we're building chemistry. So I'd have to agree with you in terms of this is definitely the biggest win when you start to what it, when you start to look at what it could mean for the future. You know, guys, the last time Canada was in the Olympics, it was Sydney in the year 2000. Steve Nash, uh, Rowan Barrett led the team last time the Canadians were at the Olympics. How special is this? Uh, for Rowan and RJ to share this moment together, Leo? Well, it's a beautiful moment. I I'll be honest with you. I had, to, I had the pleasure of coaching my son when I coached Canada. At times, it's stressful. At times, it's very difficult. Perception, is, is, you know, a lot of different things, the way people look at things. But it's, a, it's an unbelievable occasion. I remember standing with my next to my son during a national anthem, looking at him going, this is pretty cool, huh? And how many times can you experience something like that with your son? And so I, I think for Rowan and, and RJ, I think it's amazing. Uh, I, I think it's a great moment, something they will cherish forever. And I think in part of Canadian basketball history, it's, it's a great moment, a father-son moment that everybody's going to remember. Javon, we start to look ahead. Uh, we have 10 months between now and Paris 2024. What does this Canadian team need to do uh, to ensure that they're able to contend for an Olympic medal? I think on the court, you obviously want to add some shooting. That's always going to help, and that's been a, a hole for this team. But bigger than shooting, bigger than tactics, I think you have to continue to build on the chemistry of this unit. So I would hope that one of the guys step up, maybe it's Kelly, maybe it's Shea, one of the veteran guys, and just be connected throughout the year. This 10 months, it's a, you know, a long time, but it comes around quick. So any opportunity for the guys to get together, have dinner, follow each other's seasons, um, words of encouragement just to continue to build that connectivity is going to be important. Okay, guys, let's talk about Canada's roster going forward. There's no Jamal Murray. Uh, there's no Andrew Wiggins at these qualifiers. How much do you think a berth at the Paris Olympics will uh, help the team attract all of Canada's best players to play next summer? In terms of sheer talent, Canada rivals the United States now. I mean, that, that's just the way it is. They have the NBA talent. In the whole, and I've been saying this since I was coaching, that the key is to have a large pool because life gets in the way. It's not that players don't want to play. Contract, you know, uh, health, family, all kinds of issues come into play. So you need a large pool. And Canada is at the point now where they have the large pool. So it's not a question whether Andrew Wiggins wants to play. Jamal Murray wants to play. Ben Matherin wants to play. I think they all want to play, but it's got to work in, with the, in the big picture. And I think this gives even more incentive to make it happen because guys realize that this is a pretty cool thing. The entire country is watching, and it puts Canada on the biggest stage in the world. Leo, just to add to your point there, there's going to be a number, a plethora of players that are calling and knocking at the door wanting to play in the Olympics. But we can't overlook this group right here because it's special. They're learning how to win together. And when you talk about teams that have success with less talent, a lot of times it stems from teams that have grown together, gone through adversity together. So when you look at this group right now, it, it is a special group, and we can't overlook it.